Okay, Bismillah. Okay, folks, welcome back. Looking at Matt's watch, clip 101, grade C question. This is a replacement for a video that I done, I think it was early last year, using the new technology and hopefully trying to get rid of one or two mistakes that were made in the question, in this uh, initial recording. So here we go. Let's see how this goes. Right, Bismillah. Okay, now estimating, aster, estimating answers is not another word for guesstimating. They're not supposed to just, uh, guess answers. We need to use technique. Now this is all non-calculator work. From the non-calculator paper. Work out an estimate for 304 times by 9.96 divided by 0.51. Now the intention is to get each number and round it. So we're thinking about rounding to the nearest for example, one hole, rounding it to 10, round it to the nearest 100, etc, etc. So 304, and I call these nice chunky numbers, numbers which are easy to deal with in terms of cancelling and working out answers to. So 304, I'm going to round this one to the nearest 100. So 304 to the nearest 100 is 300. Okay, so 300 and 4 is closer to 300 than to 400. Now let's look at 9.96. Here's this number. 9.96, if I round that off to the nearest 10, or even the nearest whole number, I get myself a nice, lovely 10. 0 0.51. Now 0 0.51 is very close to a half. It can be quite easily uh, rounded to the nearest whole number, but it gives us a totally different type of answer. So I'm trying to maintain the integrity of the question, 0.51. I'm going to round it to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is not necessarily a chunky number, we'll show you how to deal with that in a second. Let's continue. So 304 became 300. 9.96 became 10, so times that by the 10. Divided by is here. 0 0.51 became 0 0.5. Now 300 multiplied by 10 is a nice easy number to deal with. It will give us an answer of 3000. So 1, 2, 3 zeros, 1, 2, 3. Now divided by 0 0.5. Okay, 3000 divided by 0 0.5 is not 1500. Think of it like this, you have 3000 cakes, you divide them into halves. How many half pieces will you have? And the answer is, you will have 6,000 half pieces. So when you, when you divide by a half, you double the answer. So that's the answer for the first question. Now let's look at the second one now. That's done. Work out an estimate for this, again, non-calculator. We can't use calculator. 6.7. We can round that off to the nearest whole number. Okay. That will give you 7. 192, we can round that up to the nearest 100. That will give us 200. Okay. 0 0.051, it's very similar to this number over here, with the extra note in it. We will round that up to 0 0.05. Let's carry on the question. So 6.7 became 7. Multiply that by. 192 became 200, all divided by 0 0.05, 0 0.05 equals, now, 7 times by 200 is, we do 7 times by 2, which is 14, and then we add the two zeros back on. Now, dividing by 0 0.05 is a bit more exciting to explain. We're going to show you a different technique now. Okay, folks, I'm going to come over here now. I'm going to change to a... Okay, let's do, 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 green. Okay, now I'm going to copy this question up over here. This one here is part of the grab this. So I'm really out of uh, space to do the question. Let's do over here. So we have 1400. And then we divide that by 0.05. And 0.05, if we change that into a fraction, is the same as 5 hundredths. So we have 1400 
divided by 500. So that's 10th place value, 100th place value. Now, as we said before, when we divide by a fraction, the divide sign becomes, gets transformed into a multiply sign. That's the rules of dividing fractions. The second fraction gets turned upside down. So the 100 goes to the top. The 5 goes to the bottom. The 1400 gets copied back down over here. Now, what we need to do now, we can cancel diagonally here. We can't cancel diagonally. We just multiply the top, multiply the bottom, and divide at the end as well. So we'll just go on that route now. 1400 times by 100. Nice calculation to do. So here's 1400. Add on another two zeros for multiplying by 100. And now we've got to divide it by 5. Okay? So, again, all nice easy numbers to deal with. There's no mad cancelling. Nice chunky numbers. 14. We've got 140,000 really in a sense. So let's just do a quick calculation here. For those of you who want to do the manual long, uh, manual bust up technique. Let's go for black now. Let's divide it by five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five and one is zero. Remainder one. Five goes into fourteen two times. Remainder four. Five goes into forty eight times. And five goes into zero, zero, zero times. So the answer becomes then twenty eight thousand. So estimate all that. That took us a bit of time, but it's worth it. We still didn't do anything that was so taxing that we, you know, we do some mad techniques. Okay, we just show you how we deal with the 0.05. Okay, 28,000 is an estimate for that particular answer. Okay, uh, please join us in the next video. Okay, welcome back, folks. Bismillah. Let's, let's carry on with this exercise. So we're still on clip 101, grade C, maths watch CD. Okay, looking at this following three questions, all are based on non-calculator work. Okay, let's have a look. So, non-calculator. Work out an estimate for this. What we're going to do, we're going to round these numbers off to nice, I call them chunky numbers. So, 32 will be rounded off to the nearest 10 to give us 30. Because it's closer to 30 than 40. 4.92... We can round this off to the nearest whole number. That will give us 5. Node point two one. If we round this off to the nearest whole number, it will give us nothing. It will actually cause a question to fail. We won't be able to do the question. It will cause a mathematical error. We can round this off to the nearest tenth. So that will give us node point two. So that's all my rounding off. This is round to the nearest 10. This we round off to the nearest whole number. This one round to the nearest tenth. Let's quickly write that down in a different color. So that one is to the nearest ten. That one is to the nearest whole number. That one is to the nearest tenth. Okay, that's just my room I'm looking at. So we've got enough room to do the calculation now. Let's just quickly change color. Okay. Now we're going to do the calculation again now, so we're going to do now 30 times by 5. So we have 30, multiply that by 5, which is on top, divided by 0 0.21, which we can represent by 0 0.2. Okay, 30 times by 5, this is a nice easy calculation, which is 150 and not 60. And 0.2, we're going to change that into a fraction as two tenths. Okay, now when we divide by a fraction, we have to change the divide sign into a multiply into the second fraction upside down. If I write over here, it might be a bit more clearer. So 150, we divide that by two tenths. So the divide, let's change color here. Whoops. Oh. So the divide becomes a times. That's the rule for multiple for dividing fractions. So that becomes a times. So we have 150 multiplied by so the divide by two tenths. Two tenths has to go turn upside down. This part of the fraction only becomes 10 over 2. Okay, folks, it might sound like a bit of a headache dealing with these two tenths. We're doing non-calculated work. It's not too much of a headache. You just gotta be you know robust in your in your working out. 
So we now have 150, which we can write as 150 over 1, times by 10 divided by 2. 1 times by 2. So that gives us a nice answer on the top of 150 times by 10 is 1,500. 1 times by 2 is 2. Okay. 1,500 divided by 2. What's half of 1,500? Should give us a nice, lovely answer. 750 is half of 1,500. And that should give you the right answer for question number three. Let's move on to question number four. Right, 3,880, that's already in the thousands a number. So we're going to run this number to the nearest thousands to give us a nice and lovely 4,000. Okay, 236 here. We're going to run that to the nearest hundreds, 236. So we look at the largest place value in a sense. And so while we write that, so that's 236. So that becomes 200 to the nearest 100. So 4.85. 4 4.85. Now again, the largest place value is the unit. So we round this on to the nearest units. That's one way of uh, us understanding these questions. So that becomes 5 to the nearest. So let's quickly write over there what we've done. So the largest place value here was the thousands. So we rounded to the nearest thousand. Here the largest place value was 100, so we rounded to the nearest 100. Here the largest place value was the units, so we rounded to the nearest 1. Okay, done. Now let's put the calculations back in and see what we get. Okay, here we go. So 3,880 becomes 4,000. And we have 200 times by 5, the bottom. 200 times by 5. Okay, 200 times by 5 will give us 1,000. And we got on the top, 4,000. So we've got 4,000 divided by 1,000. That's a lovely question. Nice and straightforward. So when you divide, by, divide that by 10, divide that by 10, divide that by 10, divide that by 10. We, we can simplify. And that gives us a nice, lovely 4 with no stress at all. Okay, folks. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to do this question, try to fit in here. If I can't fit in, I'll have to go on the top. we we'll draw a line here now, just to box it off the question. Looks like I can't move the page up, we lose all this text. So just bear with me for a second, please, folks, while I do some bit of engineering here. Okay. And we have what color? Blue. So. Okay. Right, so this is the area for question number five. Just in case I run out of space here, I can go back over here without confusing anything. Right, here we go. So let's have a look. So 7.18, the highest place value is the units. So we're going to round this to the nearest unit. So 7.81 to the nearest whole number is 7. 19.7, the highest place value is, we're looking at that's our units of tens. So we're going to round this one to the nearest 10. So 19.7 to the nearest 10 will give us 20. 0.47, the highest place value is the tenths. Round this to the nearest tenth, 0.47 to the nearest tenth, which is here. Look at this number, because it's 5 or more, we add 1. That gives us 0.5. Okay, right, I'm just going to go up here now. So we've got here 7 times by 20 now. 7 times by 20 divided by a half, 0.5. So 7 times by 20, that will give you an answer of 140. 7 times by 2 is 14, add the 0 back on. When we divide it by a half, let's think about this again, we explained earlier. You have 140 cakes, you divide them into half pieces. How many pieces will you have? You will now have 280 pieces, which is double what you started with. If you divide each cake into a half, you have two pieces. You have 140 cakes. You have 280 pieces. And that's the end of this particular part of the video. 
please join us back in the next video thank you okay folks bismillah welcome back we carried on the second page of the exercise estimating answers grade c clip 101 okay we're going to do this hopefully in two parts uh, let's have a look work out an estimate all right let's get cracking okay hang on a second let's move it up a bit first let's move it up so you can actually see the questions Okay, that's enough of them. We're going to do this part first. Okay. All right, 547. The best way to look at these estimated questions, look at the highest place value. Highest place value units, tens, hundreds, hundreds. Rounds up to the nearest hundred. So 547 to the nearest hundred, because it's less than halfway, it will become just back to 500. 4.8. The highest place value is the units. So rounds up to the nearest unit. So 4.8 becomes 5. 9.7, the highest place value is a, is a unit. If we round to the nearest unit, that will give us a nice 10. Because it's more than halfway to the next number. So now let's carry on this calculation. We have 500 on the top. And we divide that by 5 times by 10. Okay. Now, we can straight away divide top by 10, the bottom by 10, that's gone. We have now 50 divided by 5, 50 divided by 5 will give you a nice, lovely answer of 10. So we just quickly go back, and so we rounded this one to the nearest 100. We rounded this one to the nearest whole number, and we ran this one to the nearest whole number as well. Nearest one, nearest unit. Okay, nearest one. Okay, give you that. Right, let's have a look now. We've got 69 times by 398, so again 69, the highest place value is, that's our units, tens. So we can round this one to the nearest ten. 398, the highest place value is the hundreds, units, tens, hundreds. So we can round this one number off to the nearest hundred. 207, the highest place value is hundreds, round off to the nearest hundred as well. Okay, so let's do that. So 69 to the nearest 10 becomes 70. 398 to the nearest 100 becomes 400. 207 to the nearest 100 becomes 200. So if we now continue this question forward. So we have 70 times by 400 on top. 70 times by 400. And we divide it all by 207, which becomes 200. Okay, well, let's have a look how we deal with that. Now, let's start cancelling, because we can. 70 times by 400, we divide this top number by 10, the bottom by 10, the top one by another 10, the bottom one by another 10. Now we're left with, we've got 4 here and a 2 here. Divide the 2 by 2, it gives you 1. Divide the 4 by 2, that gives you 2. So we have to 70 times by 2 on the top, which will give us 140. Double of 7, 7 is 14, add the 0 on there, and that's done. Okay, let's do the next question, without any further delay. 7.5, highest place value is units. So we're going to round this up to the nearest whole number. 2.79, highest place value is the units, 2. So we can round this one to the nearest whole number as well. 2.71, units, nearest 1. 3.19 is units, so we round that to the nearest 1 as well. So let's change it now, okay, right. Seven and a half is halfway between seven and eight, so it becomes eight. Two point seven nine is very close to three, so it's, it's more than halfway. Two point seven one, this, uh, this number has five or more, so we're going to round it after three. Three point one nine is more close to three than four. That stays as three. Right, let's move on to the next color. So we have now eight times by three on top. Eight times by three. On the bottom, we have three add. 3. Just make sure we don't make any mistakes here. 
So that's 8 times by 3, and that's 3 plus 3. 8 times by 3 will give us 24. 3 at 3 will give us 6. 24 divided by 6 will give us 4. Lovely, done. Okay, next question. Let's go back to blue. Right, we have 409. Okay. We have to round this number off because its highest place value is 100 to the nearest 100. So that becomes 400. 5.814. We round that off to the nearest whole number. The highest number is the whole number there. So that will give you 6. And 0.19, the highest place value is the 10th. So round that to the nearest 10th is nearly 0.2. If I look at the next numbers, five or more, add one. Okay, and let's quickly put on the green bit as well, so you know what we've done. So this one is the nearest hundred. This one is the nearest whole number. This one is the nearest tenth. Whoa. Okay, right, let's move over to the different color now. Right, so we have a 400 times by six on top. Let's give a bit of gap so don't crash into the top question. 400 times by 6. Divide by 0.2. Okay, 400 times by 6 will give us 4 times by 6 is 24. Put the two zeros back on. 0.2 is the same as dividing by 2 times, which will be right over here like this now. Okay, let's get a rubber. And Right now, when we divide by a fraction, the divide sign turns into a multiply. So let's just write on top of it. So it becomes a multiply. And the two times we have to turn this fraction upside down. We just rub it out and write again, because our space here is limited, folks. So the two times has to become 10 over 2. Put that back in. Okay, now, put that over here as well, all right. We can cancel diagonal if you want to, yes? So 2400 divided by 2. 2400 divided by 2. So divide that by 2 is 1. Divide 2400 by 2 will give you 1200. The bottoms are all 1 now. To multiply the top numbers, 1200 times by 10 will be the same number we started with, plus an extra 0. So I'll just rewrite over here. To make it a bit more clearer, so that should give us now 12,000 as the answer for this question here. Okay, thank you.